blessed day everyone here i am again my name is melanie so on today's video i'm gonna go ahead and show you how are you going to enhance your video by simply adding on a thumbnail so what a thumbnail is how are you going to create your thumbnail and how are you going to add it on your video so these questions will be answered in a while just Please keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe on my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to know? Alright, so what is a thumbnail? So a thumbnail is actually as good as a title of your video. So it is an image that will be showing right before you even click on that video. Alright, so it's something like this or like this okay so our goal is to let people watch our videos so we might want to have a, a prominent thumbnail like a, a catchy or an attractive thumbnail that will make sure that people will choose to watch our videos right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you now how we're going to create your thumbnail and how we're going to add it on your video Okay, so I'm using here an application called PixArt for editing my photos. This is really very convenient to use. So I recommend it for everyone. If you don't have it yet, you can just simply go ahead and download it from the Play Store or from the Apple Store. All right. So to start with, let's go ahead and click on this plus icon below and start editing. You might want to have everything ready for easy access later on while you are creating the thumbnail. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a screenshot for whatever images I want to add in the thumbnail so it will be showing on the recent photos all right so let's go ahead and choose a background uh, you can choose to have just the plain colors i think all the colors are available right here down below but if you want to have uh, something with the sign so say you want to use that one there you go now next thing you might want to make sure is the fit like the ratio of the photo that you are using should right fit the application to where you you will gonna be using it later on. So since you will be using it for YouTube, YouTube, whatever it is, um, click on the YouTube and expand it a little bit. To save this, just click on the check mark on the upper right hand corner of the page, and then. We have the background. Now we'll be adding now the photos. There you go. See, it's now showing on the most recent photos. You can choose to have several photos, but for now we'll just be adding this to right here. This I'm put I'll be putting right here what's new on YouTube. Alright. So I'll show you something. Click on cut out. If you want to eliminate the background or um just show yourself right there on the thumbnail. So just click on this person. All right. So if it's marked in red or colored in red, um, that will be showing on the thumbnail that you're trying to create. But say, for example, you don't want to include your wash. You can just click on this erase um, icon and remove however you want. So if it's not colored in red, it will not be included. So of course, if you want everything to be included, just do like that so that should be it click on save and there you go i think that's better without the background yeah so expand it whichever you want okay and now we're gonna be saving that and uh, let's go ahead and add the text all right so what's i have it already right here what's new on okay you can choose to change the font however you like. Choose from here. Okay, so what I want, what I want, I'll be using that one. Now to make it more uh, visible, you can add colors on it. You can choose to have just the plain colors or if you want something with this colors, say here, just click on that texture and choose um, whatever we want. See? Okay, I think that's better. Now, if you wanted to make, uh, um, mm -hmm. what shall we do? Yeah, this should be it. Okay, now we're going to be making it more readable. So just click on the stroke. Choose the color again that you want and just increase the amount. Okay, that should be now uh, more readable. 
And then this is a question, so we're going to be needing a question mark. So we can just simply take it from the stickers. There is actually a lot of stickers right here that you can use. And you can search for whichever sticker you want to see or use. Uh, question, this should work. All right. Mm -hmm. Now this should be okay for me, but of course you are more artistic, so you can do it however you want to. All right, so just click on the check mark again to save this one. Go forward, save, save, we'll save it on the gallery. Click on done. All right, now let's go ahead and make an album on the gallery. Because, you know, well, later on, while well, we are doing it on the desktop, uh, desktop mode on our mobile, so when we choose the photo, it will be going to files, and uh, PixArt is nowhere to be found. I, I don't know, maybe I just can't see it, but I tried. So, where is that? Let's see. Alright, let's create an album for this one. Okay. Well, you can choose not to okay but uh, this is just for like an easy access for me now let's go to our browser youtube.com this should be on a desktop mode all right so on the upper right hand corner let's go click on our image there all right then click on youtube studio Okay, so you're going to be having here now your channel dashboard. So go to the list of your videos and choose whatever videos you want to add the thumbnail that you just created. Your account is greater risk attack because you don't have... Okay, I'll do it later on. So choose the video. Let's see that one. Come on. All right, there we go. And click on thumbnail here. Um, there will be instances. This You cannot click on this one. Instances? No, I, an instance because it's it happened to me to where at first I was not able to click on this. Why? Because I was not able to verify my account. So what you need to do is just simply go on youtube.com um, slash verify, verify it. Afterwards, you should be able to click it from then, okay? So go on my files. All right. And the album that I created for that, um, what's the album name? Thumb. All right, so Thumb. There we go. Done. All right, so you will be showing up there now. So all you need to do is just click on save here. And that's it. Your video already has a thumbnail. All right, so that's how you do it. So thank you so much for watching. And you know, I love doing tutorials. So if there is anything or any topic that you want me to do a video tutorial about, you can just please comment down below. And if you also like this video, you can click on the like button. And please don't forget to subscribe um, by clicking on the subscribe button. And you can also click on the bell button beside it to make sure that you will be notified for my upcoming videos. So I will see you on my next tutorial and uh, thank you again. God bless you.